Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you are doing good and today in this video i'm going to show you a full review of lineage ox16 pixelized latest build and uh, its performance is really amazing so as you can see here its android version is 9 and it's an unofficial build and its security patch is 5 december 2019 so without any further ado let's get started So this ROM is pretty stable and lagless there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM the ROM is working perfectly the overall performance of this ROM is really amazing the gaming performance of this ROM is also pretty good and uh, still suitable for daily usage but uh, its battery backup is not pretty good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and app opening speed is also pretty good gaming performance is also not bad and in the camera we have uh, this normal camera you can also install the pixel 2 or pixel 3 camera from the link in the description and uh, in the home screen we have this launcher launcher with some minimum settings and after it here we have the widgets and wallpaper in the wallpaper we have the lineage os wallpaper app now let's dig into things in the settings we have the network and internet connected devices apps and notification and battery the battery backup of this rom is not pretty good like pixel experience or other pi roms uh, the battery backup of this rom is just average and if you want a long battery backup uh, or if you are a student so this rom is not for you uh, try it on your risk uh, for me i have been using this rom from last 3 days and uh, its battery backup is not just good so in the battery backup you can also enable the extreme battery saver and you can also manage the device performance and, uh, after it we have the display in the display we have brightness level night light which is working fine adaptive brightness live display as you can see here night light is working fine you can change its intensity In the advanced, we have the style. In the styles, you can change the device uh, theme style like automatic, automatic light or dark. From the accent color, you can change the accent color for your theme. And from the dark mode, you can change the dark mode to default one. Default one is the dark gray, and the black black one is the AMOLED black color. After it we have the wallpaper sleep and in the font size we have four types of font sizes and in the display size we have five types of display sizes after it we have the expanded desktop full screen app screen saver and uh, ambient display in the ambient display we also have the always on display uh, which is working fine and looks very cool After it, we have the tap to wake, tap to sleep, and wake on plug. And in the sound, the sound quality of this ROM is also uh, good, but not uh, louder uh, because we don't have any sound enhancer in this ROM. After it, we have the storage security. In the security, the fingerprint is working fine. accounts accessibility google and system in the system we have languages and input buttons in the buttons we have some uh, some customizations of uh, power button volume rocker buttons and uh, the navigation buttons after it we have the system profile then we have the status bar customizations first of all we have the quick pull down uh, network indicators Uh, after it we have the system icons clock position am pm style and you can change the battery style and you can also manage the battery percentage and brightness sliders and in the gesture we have the jump to camera swipe up on home screen and prevent ringing gestures 
after it we have data time backup reset options and multiple users and in the about phone you can check your android version lineage os version uh, which is the android 9 and lineage os version is uh, lineage os 16 pixelized and its security patch is 5 december 29 the rom is pretty stable and uh, if you don't care about the battery then you can try this rom so if you want to try this rom download the rom and the gfs from the link in the description reboot your device into any installed custom recovery go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install and flash your downloaded rom plus gfs reboot and you will be in this rom so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching Peace.